hi guys welcome back to the channel and as you can tell by the description we are about to diy this z gallery inspired bar cart this video is also inspired by another youtuber here and i will be sure to link her video down below for you all so let's get started okay guys i am back in rules and i'm going to get started on my second bar cart and i thought it would be better if i show you all exactly what i'm going to get so oh that's not it just kidding this is the board that i'm going to get you can see the dimensions there and i'm going to go and get this cut in half you guys also want to make sure that you find some that are smooth on the edges this one is kind of chilled this one is a little but i pulled all of them out and that's the best that i see and make sure they are cracked so now to get this cut in half okay and i'll also show you all the legs that i'm grabbing They are 178 and I'm going to pick up four of these. They have different ones down here. I could definitely use some taller ones, but I am not. These are do fine, so we're going to grab these. Okay, guys, so I am leaving Lowe's. I have two pieces of my whiteboard here. And, oh, I got 15% off because the wood was kind of chipped in that little area and they didn't have any more pieces. Okay guys, so here are the supplies that we're gonna need. I have two hula hoops and these are the small, smaller size hula hoops and I got these from Family Dollar for $3. These little table legs from Lows and I got four of them. This Rustoleum spray paint, and I got it because it says it bonds to plastic, but the metallic gold. And I'm on my second bar cart, that's why that looks kind of crazy. Now, over here, I have my drill, and I'll show you all the drill bit that I'm going to use this right here 7 and 32 and you'll see later on in the video how I use that but that's basically so I can put um holes in the whiteboard so I can screw the legs onto it okay and then I have some wood screws and this was 98 cent in Walmart and then I have this beautiful contact paper you guys the camera isn't picking it up but it is so amazing and it's kind of marble tone picked that up from Walmart for five dollars and 88 cent and of course I have my whiteboard cut in half so it's 10 by 2 feet and we are going to get started Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my spray paint and spray my hoops. Okay, so we are going to let our first layer of that dry, but I also bought the legs out here. Because we're going to give that a good spray as well. So. Okay, so what I'm doing now, you all, is just taking my contact paper. I've left an inch off of this side and want to leave an inch hanging on this side. And I really like the paper and how I did it, my method, because it shows you the measurements on there. So you can see how long. So right here, I'm going to cut it to over there on the other side it's already cut so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so I won't have this big piece hanging off 
Okay, so I have my piece all cut and the, oh, the lighting change. But the next thing I'm going to do here is take the backing off of this. Now the side with the design on it is on the front because once you peel it off, you're gonna just lay your board flat on top of it and just let it stick to it. So I'm going to do that now. I hope you guys don't fall, but I basically have you rigged up here so you can see what I'm doing. And I needed two hands. So I'm just carefully peeling the back off. Just going to take my board. I'm eyeballing it. This is not perfect. That's fine. But the front has basically adhered already to this without it doing anything. And I'm going to take the side. Is catching all of this. Fold it over. Just move it out as best you can. Okay. Let's make sure the camera is getting what I'm doing. Put it out a little bit. So there we have it with that. So this is what we have here. And I'm basically going to take this piece and fold it like a Christmas present. So tuck it in right there. And do the same thing on the other side. And I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Take it here. And you can press this down. It's kind of it's good to have a little bit of layover because you can just press it down. Do the same thing to this side. facing towards me but since I'm trying to record it doing it from the opposite side so then what we have is this right here and we're going to fold it over just like you would a Christmas present now don't worry what makes this good is that we are going to just take a single piece and fold it right over, right over um, this right here. And that'll cover that up. And you know with this contact paper is very, very forgiving. So guys don't have to worry about if it starts sticking to something else you can pick it up you can remove it and it'll be just fine so again Christmas present present folding and I'm not good at wrapping Christmas gifts either so don't get down at the in the comment section talking about me that is not my strong point I'm a gift bag kind of girl but you know you just want to try and again, this one again. Like I said, 
very forgiving if it's not perfect. You lift it right on up. I'll try it again. I kind of like this a little better. Hold it over. Lift right up. Hold it over. Smooth it out. This is the front. Just a little bit of air bubbles in it. But this pattern, very, very forgiving. So you won't even have to worry about that. No one's going to see it, pay any attention to it. You just kind of press. Get those bubbles out. Look good. So I'm going to take another sheet of the contact paper. This time you only need the length of the actual board to cover this up. So I'm only gonna do, how much is this? I think it's just 10 if I can remember correctly. I should remember already, but yeah. So I'm just going to cut a single piece of this. Well, actually how the contact paper is, and, and it works out, you're going to have to, of course, cut, cut the length of this, and then you're gonna cut it in half, which is fine, because you're gonna need two pieces for the other side of the board. So I will do that, and then I will show you how this is. Okay, so I have my single piece cut and it's cut the length of the board. And remember I mentioned that you can fold it over because you're gonna get two pieces out of it. So this is basically folded over. I'm gonna make a little indentation at the top so I can just cut it straight down the middle. Then adhere that single piece to the other side of my board. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, guys, so here is our finished board. Isn't that nice? Hope you all can see. Really, really nice. So we have one, our shelf. Now there's shelves. And then we have another shelf. So, our next step is going to be to drill the holes in one of these, determine which one I'm going to use for the bottom, and then drill the hole in it for the table legs. So let me grab the legs that are outside drying because I spray painted those gold as well. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our legs, and this is just a scrap piece of the contact paper and what I've done is put little dots in the kind of in the center of each inch square and there is where I'm going to drill the holes again this is just a scrap piece that I have laid over my shelf and I'm doing this on the side where we did kind of the Christmas tree fold and place the contact paper on top of it that is this side this is what I consider to be the back side now what i've learned after doing the first one is that you want to make sure you don't go too deep i made that mistake of going too deep it'll it turn out fine but just so you know don't really go too deep with your drill you should be fine and this um whiteboard is only about an inch thick okay so i'm going to go ahead and drill the holes here and then i'll flip the this over and drill some holes on this other side.
I have my legs on. They're tight. Now I'm going to take my measuring tape and kind of mark the center points and again, probably have to lay this down to make it easier on myself, but you guys see, so I'm going to mark the center of this. I'm going to also probably mark the two inch mark, the six inch mark, the one foot mark and 1822 just so when i go to put the hoop in i kind of have guides as to where i need to um put the screw so i'm going to okay so now on to our basically final step and that is adding the hoop all painted now this hula hoop has an indentation let me find that spray paint it over it see that right there that little groove so i'm going to be using that as the center mark so basically where i lined up i put that um dot at the one foot mark that's basically where i'm going to put start putting my hula hoop and what i learned from basically trial and error is with this particular um, size hula hoop and of course the whiteboard that I have I want about two inches from the bottom and at the top I want to position that top shelf so it's about five inches from the top of the hula hoop if that makes sense to you all so between here and here should be about two inches okay so from here again to here it should be two inches so once I have that position in the center I'm going to measure this a couple of times what I'm going to do get some stuff to help me secure this and hold it down so let me look I'll be right back okay so I have my hula hoop and my shelves lined up exactly where I want them to be and good thing is I'm using my counter so the side of the shelves are actually flush with the counter so I know they should be pretty much even. Okay, I don't know where I left off, but here we have the cart. And what I'm going to do is basically go in and fix, you know, any little mistakes I have in here and just clean this up. And to touch up the paint, I have, what is this? I think I have this from Walmart. But this camouflage is it well. Okay, you all, so here is our finished product. I hope you enjoyed this very lengthy video, and I will catch you all in the next one.